welcome to my channel uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, the objective questions from the two antenna one is the isotropic antenna and another one is a yagi uda antenna so this two topics under the unit 2 okay uh, the first question uh, so you see most commonly used antenna with tv receivers okay so which type of antenna is used for the tv receiving okay so tv receiving application so you see the four choices one is uh, v antenna rhombic antenna loop antenna yogi antenna so yogi antenna is the correct answer so the yogi antenna it's a antenna used for the tv receiver application then the yogi uda antenna consists of dash folded dipole reflector director all of the above okay so you know the uh, construction of yagi uda antenna so already we studied uh, in that thing so the yagi uda antenna it consists of uh, the three thing folded dipole reflector and director okay so you see uh, this is the construction of uh, yagi antenna so this is the one so here this is the reflector and this one is a our uh, driven element okay so this one is a director so we may use a uh, compulsory we may use one reflector and uh, one driven element so the number of directors we may increase okay and you see the length of the reflector is 5 percentage above the driven element the length of the director is uh, 5 percentage less than the driven element and you know okay so this is the radiation pattern of the argued antenna so this antenna it is used for the tv receiving application okay so uh, this uh, yagi uda antenna consists of so here the question is that yagi uda antenna consists of folded dipole reflector director all of the above yes all of the above okay so this folded dipole it is a driven element the center element reflector okay it's a back element the director is a front element so we may use one or more directors so all of the above is an answer then the next question a parasitic element of an array is one which dash uh the parasitic element of an array is one which uh the first option is is directly connected to the transmitter output is spaced from a driven element increases the signal strength in its own direction it acts as a reflector or director depending on whether it is longer or shorter than a driven element so parasitic element so in this yagi uda antenna so you see we are using that is uh, the folded dipole the driven element is a center element okay center dipole uh, so in order to increase uh, uh, the thing uh, we are using reflectors and directors connected to that our driven element okay so this parasitic element is nothing bad in an array yogi uda is, a, is an array okay array of antenna so in yogi uda the parasitic element it is nothing but it acts as a reflector as well as a director depending upon the length uh, Uh, whether it is longer or shorter okay so the d is a correct option so the parasitic element of an array in which it acts as a either reflector or director if the length of the uh, the particular antenna is above the uh, driven element means it is said to be the reflector if the length of the antenna is length of that particular element is lesser than the our driven element means it is said to be the director so d is a correct option uh, the next one the parasitic element that is typically about 5 percentage longer than the half wave dipole driven element is called dash okay so already uh, i told you, you know so in that the center element this is said to be our dipole okay the half wave dipole or folded dipole so this is our driven element so here we are applying the input okay uh, then uh, that is a uh, back to that driven element we are using one reflector you see so the length of this reflector is the 5 percentage above the driven element and the length of the director is 5 percentage less than the driven element this is the concept of designing the yagi uda antenna so here the question is that a parasitic element that is typically 5 percentage longer than the half wave dipole driven element it is called as a array element director element reflector element driven element reflector element so the reflector element is having the length is 5 percentage longer than the half wave dipole if it is a 5 percentage lesser than the half wave dipole means it is called as a director element okay then the next question uh, what is the length of the shortest element in the yagi uda antenna 
So in Yagi Yuda antenna, which one is the shortest length? So the shortest length is one quarter wavelength of highest frequency, one quarter wavelength of lowest frequency, one half the wavelength of highest frequency, one half the wavelength of lowest frequency. So the C is the answer. So which one is the very shortest element in Yagi antenna means one half the wavelength. That is the lambda by two of the highest frequency is the shortest element in a Yagi Yuda array. Okay. Then the next one, which statement regarding the Yagi Yuda antenna is wrong? Okay. So in this four thing, which one is a wrong statement about the Yagi Yuda antenna? So first one, it is an array consisting of driven element, parasitic elements arranged collinearly and closely. Okay. So it is correct only. It has extremely high gain. It is also, that is, it is a high gain, but it is not extremely high gain. Then it has a folded dipole as a driven element. It is also correct. Uh, it is often employed as VHF television receiving antenna. Yes, Yogi Uda antenna is used for the television receiving. So which one is a wrong statement means the second one. It has extremely high gain. So it's a high gain antenna, but it is not an extremely high gain antenna. So this is the uh, wrong statement for the given, Yagi, given four thing. Okay. Next one, the Yagi Yuda array is a parasitic array. It's a true or false? Yes. Okay. It's a true only. The Yagi array is said to be the parasitic array. Okay. Uh, that is our dipole antenna is placed the center. So before dipole, we are using reflectors of size, uh, the 5 percentage longer. And uh, uh, in front to the dipole, we are using the two or more, uh, one or more driven element. Okay. That is said to be the director. So Yagi Yuda array is said to be the parasitic array. Next one, the reflector is longer than the folder dipole in Yagi Yuda array. It's a true or false? Yes, the reflector size is larger than the folder dipole. That is folder dipole is said to be the our driven element. So always the reflector is larger than the folder dipole. It's a true only. Then the next one, the director is shorter than the folder dipole. Yes, okay, it is also correct. The director, uh, it is said to be the, it is, shorter than five percentage lesser than the length of the folder dipole so it is also true okay then the next one radiation pattern of uh, yagi yuda antenna is dash it's a unidirectional or bidirectional so the radiation pattern of yagi yuda antenna is a unidirectional okay so it will receive the signal in a particular direction so you see this is the radiation pattern of this yagi yuda antenna so the main loop the maximum radiation has happened in one direction okay so that's why it's a unidirectional antenna. Okay, Yagi Uda antenna is a unidirectional antenna. Next one, a Yagi antenna is used for a very large bandwidth, high forward gain, omnidirectional gain, all of the above. So Yagi Uda antenna is used for which purpose? For, okay, for which reason, for which main reason we are using the Yagi Uda antenna? So uh, because of the very large bandwidth, the Yagi antenna is used. Okay. Then the next one, the director's reactants in Yagi Uda antenna is dash. The director's reactants, the reactants of the director in Yagi Uda antenna is, it is uh, resistive in nature, inductive in nature, capacitive in nature, and none of the above. So capacitive in nature, okay, the director's reactants uh, is capacitive in nature. Similarly, the reflectors reactants, okay, the reflector reactants in Yagi Uda antenna is uh, inductive in nature, okay. Uh, reflectors reactants is inductive in nature, the director's reactants is capacitive in nature. The next one, the sensitivity of Yagi Uda antenna is very high, it's a yes or no, yes only, okay. The sensitivity of Yagi Uda antenna is very high. Then the next one, the bandwidth of Yagi Uda antenna is limited. Okay, bandwidth of Yagi Uda antenna is limited. So true or false, true. Okay, the bandwidth is limited only for Yagi Uda antenna. Then the next one, the radiation resistance of half wave folder dipole is dash. Okay, so in this, uh, while designing this Yagi Uda antenna, the folded, the lambda by two, half wavelength mean lambda by two. The lambda by two folder dipole or uh, simply the dipole is used as a driven element. Okay, so what is the radiation resistance of that particular half wave folder dipole? It's a 657 ohms. 
uh, 292 ohms 300 ohms 277 ohms so the answer is 292 okay so you just remember these answers the radiation resistance of half wavelength folded dipole is the answer is 292 ohms the next one what is the impedance of folded dipole okay what is the impedance of the folded dipole so the impedance of folded dipole is so here you see the answer 50 100 300 20 okay so the radiation resistance of the folded dipole is 292 okay so the exact answer is 292 so here the 292 is not given 300 ohms so the near uh, nearest answer so the 300 ohms is the impedance of the folded dipole okay then the next one the radiation resistance of three folded uh, lambda by 2 dipole okay so this is said to be the half wavelength the radiation resistance of half wavelength this is a two fold dipole okay so two half wavelength folded dipole is 292 uh, in that folded there are three folded lambda by 2 dipole antenna is that so for the three folded lambda by 2 dipole the radiation resistance is 657 okay 292 is the radiation resistance of two folded uh, dipole the radiation resistance of three folded dipole is 657 ohms uh, just remember these answers these are all the standard answers in a aguda antenna then the next one in a parasitic array a director is usually okay so tuned to a slightly higher frequency than driven element uh, it is connected to a system of ground radial a closed loop that is grounded for rf a straight length of wire or tubing so the answer is the first one so the director is usually tuned to a slightly higher frequency than the driven element director is always tuned to a slightly higher frequency than the driven element okay it's a correct one then which of the following antenna type is well suited to use with parallel wire transmission line okay so which type of antenna is suited for parallel wire transmission line uh, the grounded plane the folded dipole the ground mounted vertical none of the above the folded dipole so the folded dipole antenna is suited for parallel wire transmission line then the next one the isotropic radiator radiates equally in all direction the statement is true or false true only okay so you know isotropic radiator it's a reference antenna uh, in the measurement of antenna gain directivity and so on so the isotropic radiator means uh, so you know it radiates uh, uh, equally in all direction yes okay then isotropic radiator omnidirectional radiator or one and same okay isotropic radiator omnidirectional radiator both are same it's a true or false it's a false okay isotropic radiator is different omnidirectional radiator is different okay then the next one if pi is the input to the isotropic radiator then what is the power density so the power density of the isotropic radiator what is the formula so you know the power density the formula is that the input power divided by 4 pi r squared okay so pi divided by 4 pi r squared this is the power density of isotropic radiator then the next one isotropic antenna it's a reference antenna yes okay isotropic antenna is a dash isotropic antenna it's a reference antenna okay but this isotropic antenna is not a physically realizable antenna but this antenna is used for a reference purpose in order to measure the antenna gain impedance and so on okay then what is the value of directivity of isotropic antenna so the directivity of the isotropic antenna it is a uh, that is here you see all answers is given in db okay so the directivity of isotropic antenna in db is 0 db okay sometime the directivity in number they will give okay so you see uh, the isotropic antenna you know the definition of isotropic antenna the isotropic antenna is defined as it's a hypothetical antenna having the same radiation in all direction okay so it is uniform radiation in all direction so that's why it is assumed that the power gain the power gain of the isotropic antenna is 1 okay so the power gain of the isotropic antenna is 1 so that's why the directivity of the isotropic antenna is also 1 okay 
So if you want to convert this number one into dB means we will get the answer is zero dB. So the directivity of isotropic antenna in number is one. Okay, in decibel is zero dB. Similarly, the power gain of the isotropic antenna it is also the one. Okay, so these are all the some of the questions uh, about uh, uh, Yagi Uda antenna and the isotropic antenna. Okay, so you remember uh, these things that is uh, in that thing the Yagi Uda it's mainly used for the TV receivers. Okay, and uh, this Yagi Uda it consists of the three element driven element, reflector, director. So the driven element, it is uh, it is a either dipole, half wave dipole or half wave folded dipole. Okay, and this Yagi Uda, it's an array. Okay, so in array we are using the parasitic element. This reflector and the director, it is a parasitic element. So usually the reflector size is uh, five percentage above the driven element. The director size is always five percentage lesser than the driven element. So these are all the things you just remember. Then the values, the radiation resistance of uh, the Yagi Uda array is, uh, sorry, the, that is the two folded, the half, two folded uh, dipole radiation resistance is 292. Similarly, for three folded uh, uh, dipole, the radiation resistance value is 657. Okay, so these are all the, some of the important answers, you just remember it. Okay, then isotropic, you know, isotropic antenna, it's a reference antenna. It radiates uh, uh, equally in uniformly in all direction. Okay, so these are all the some of the things about Yagi Uda antenna and isotropic radiator. So in the next video we will see uh, the remaining antennas. So we will see one by one. So thanks for watching my channel. And if you want to learn the previous uh, uh, that is the remaining MCQ video means I will give the link for those videos in the description box and I code also you can refer it. Okay, so thank you.